Ida for not letting my sister walk down the aisle at my wedding. Throw away because family members have read it. I, 29F, am getting married to the love of my life, 30M, in a few months. We were high school lovers, and childhood friends. He's truly my best friend and everything I want in life. However, we both decided to wait until we were well off to be married, so we could have our once-in-a-lifetime magical moment. My sister, Stacy, 21F, got married at 19 to someone who I like, but I'm not super close with. They were together for five months before he proposed. Their wedding was rushed, and half our family couldn't even make it because of how soon it was planned and set up. It was small, and just in a courtroom. No dress, party, etc., just a legal wedding. However, my wedding is around 19k, and we haven't even finished everything. It took us ages to set everything up, and save. Stacy recently came up to me while coming over, we're close, and have dinner once a week at my place, and asked if she could walk down my aisle and meet her husband, so she could feel like a bride. I laughed and asked if she was serious and she was. She claims she never got her magic moment, and just wants to feel special once. But. It's my wedding and my special day, she had hers. Stacy claims it will only be between us, and it won't take away from me, but then I asked what she might wear and she showed me pictures on her phone of wedding dresses. Hard no for me. She then asked again yesterday in front of my fiancé, and I think it was an attempt to pressure me, he laughed and said no, thinking it was a joke, like I did the first time. My mother and Stacy's husband say I'm being an asshole because Stacy still isn't rich, so she can't afford another wedding even if she wanted one, but neither are me and my future husband. We just planned for years. I just wanted one day for myself, but maybe I'm blowing it up because she never got the bridal experience. Update, Ida for not letting my sister walk down the aisle at my wedding. Hello everyone. I just wanted to post an update on the situation with my sister, Stacy. I'm not sure how to add links to my old post, but I will try to find out. The day after I made the post, me, my fiancé, Stacy, and her husband met up for brunch. I told her she needed to hear me out fully, before she spoke, and thankfully she did. In short, I told her as much as I love her, I've waited years for this day, and it was mine. She had hers, and if she truly wanted she could have used the money I gifted her to get her own wedding. Her husband to cut me off and say that they needed the money for rent, but she didn't let him talk. I showed her the Reddit post, and she started crying, and asked her husband and my fiancé to step out for a few minutes. They both did, and she told me her husband and our mom had been the ones pressuring her, since she had admittedly been jealous, and told them both she wished she could have a larger scale wedding. She said she had been over the whole thing, until her husband started saying it wasn't fair because he was jealous he couldn't provide for her, and eventually complained enough she asked to walk down the aisle for him. Stacy said she was willing to fully back out of the wedding, and would understand given the heartache she's given me, but I told her that her husband would be the one without an invite, which she gratefully agreed to. We talked more in depth on why she was jealous and she said she regretted being married so early just so our father could be at her wedding. After a few more minutes and both of us crying and forgiving one another, I told her she could always tell me anything, even if it was between her and her husband. When my fiancé and her husband came back in, I told Stacy's husband he was uninvited, right then and there, and he seemed to understand why immediately, though he did groan about it, and call me multiple times, but I blocked him. Again. Over the past few days, our mother has called to apologize, and me and Stacy have been talking much more openly and honestly to one another. I decided to let her wear a dark silver or pale gold dress, to match my theme, and walk with me down the aisle, as my father sadly can't. She told me I didn't need to, but I insisted. We ended up finding a dress we both love, and I got it as a gift for her. Thank you all for the support and kind words. Thank you for listening. Please like, comment, and subscribe. Thank you.